Now let's see how to use Cognito APIs or Cognito SDK to integrate Cognito user pool in your application. But question is why we need Cognito SDK or API at all if we have uh, what uh, 2.2 workflow. So in many uh, websites you might have seen that uh, uh, in uh, we have in page authentication where uh, when you click on sign in or uh, login uh, pop up uh, comes on same page and uh, uh, within that website only you are able to log in. So for that kind of workflow. Uh, we need uh, to use Cognito SDK or we directly need to call Cognito APIs. Another purpose is for user management operations uh, like uh, adding user to certain group or uh, editing uh, user attributes like uh, uh, we can have some uh, role, uh, some attribute named role and uh, we might want to change that attribute based on uh, what uh, permissions user have so uh, that thing we can do using sdk or api calls let's uh, go to cognito documentation and uh, explore some apis so we will just search cognito api and here we have to go to this link cognito aws cognito documentation and in documentation we will see api reference in api reference here we have linked to all sdks but uh, first we will see some apis before exploring sdk so we can see these are all uh, possible api calls to cognito and uh, one of them is uh, initiate auth so if you do not want to use oauth flow you directly want to do uh, login using uh, username and password from your front end or from your back end then you can use this initiate auth api call and uh, syntax of uh, or uh, format of this uh, api is this uh, we post to this url cognito idp uh, region and dot aws dot com and uh, we pass in header aws cognito identity provider service dot initiate dot and uh, uh, since this call is uh, for private client we are also passing uh, uh, credentials but uh, we are going to try it with uh, public clients so let's see if there is an example for public client also here we have this one so uh, it's uh, in this format i have converted it into curl for easy editing and so we can directly use with postman so this is the api call we have to do post call to this api um, which is cognito and uh, region and dot aws dot com and in header we have to pass uh, cognito identity provider dot initiate dot and we have to pass username, password, and client ID. And auth flow type, we have to pass it as user password auth. Let's go and create a new user pool. We will create uh, public client and uh, for sign in and sign up email. We do not need uh, callback URL for now because we are not going to use auth workflow. Now uh, here uh, we are going to use initiate auth API which is equivalent to login API. Uh, there is also API to create user which is called uh, sign up API. But uh, uh, since we are going to use login API we should create one user here. So I will create user. mark as verified and uh, set it set password so i will copy it as well and uh, create users so user is created here now let's try to use uh, this initiate auth api to uh, login so i will copy the 
command and paste it here. We need client ID, so I will go to clients, client, and client ID here. Next, we need username and parameters, so username and password. So, username is the email that I entered. And uh, password. Uh, header will be uh, initiate auth and uh, URL for post. We do not need to change because we are in the correct region. If you are in different region, make sure to change it here. Let's copy it and. Uh, paste in postman and make api call here it says invalid parameter exception username password or flow is not enabled for this client which is correct we had still not enabled uh, so i will edit the client make sure to edit the client not uh, login pages of client and here we have to enable user allow user path auth user password auth it means uh, if someone is trying to log in using username and password uh, let them do it so saved it now if i do the call here in response it says uh, instead of giving the tokens it's uh, saying uh, Challenge name as new password requires because we created user first time uh, using cognitive pool uh, using console. So when user logs in for first time, uh, it will ask to reset the password to new password. That's why instead of giving token, it's asking us to do this challenge. So let's let's see if there is some API for uh, completing the challenge. So challenge. No, it's not here. Here we have respond to auth challenge API and uh, this is the at bottom somewhere we should have simple example here. Respond to auth challenge and uh, we need to respond for uh, new password required. And this sample is for uh, email OTP. Let's go up and uh, see somewhere. Find metadata, challenge responses, and uh, password verify. New password required. This one. This is the challenge that we have to respond to and uh, here we have to pass challenge name as new password required and challenge response as new password with username so let's copy it and also uh, let's copy that sample to see what kind of values this one will need and uh, we will modify the above curl command so first thing we need to modify header in header we have to pass uh, instead of initiate auth we have to pass a respond to auth and uh, username uh, here we, instead of auth parameters we have to pass first we have to pass challenge name so challenge name will be required password i will cut it and put it here auth parameters we do not have to pass because it's not auth flow these two things are not required we pass challenge name client id next thing is challenge response so i will put it here and uh, yeah. uh, under new password let's uh, use uh, 
new and uh, username is the email which we used there also uh, if we see in response we got session token so let's use this as well from here to here and uh, just below this put the session token uh, here is client id we did user pool i think not required challenge responses we passed username and uh, new password let's try this command now i will copy the curl and import here let's hit it invalid session for this user session is expired okay so this session is expired let's make that call again uh, initiate out call to show the body this call which we did initially uh, just to get a new session token because current session token is expired so i got new session token and uh, here I am using it uh, for challenge now. Let's see if it works. It worked. And uh, uh, after completing the challenge, we got uh, access token, ID token, and refresh token. So similar to OAuth flow, here also we will get all the JWT token and process of JWT verification will also be same. Just the way we were getting uh, user. Uh, specific jwt tokens that is changed now one interesting thing here if i go and uh, try it will fail because we changed the password so it will it will work now if i use new password it's working so what we saw is that uh, we can come to this uh, list of uh, api api call api access and uh, depending on our requirement, we can do the API calls.